When Henry Grant founded this small community in the southern Beirut, he had big dreams, including the thought that someday one of Montana's first universities would rise on this spot. That never happened, but the legacy of learning endured for 124 years, finally stopped by the practicality of today's limited school funding. Today, what is widely considered the oldest continuously operating school in the state, bid farewell to this final school year in the same fashion as countless gatherings in this community since 1889, with food, friendship, and memories. But the boundless enthusiasm of the children, likely the same as it was on that first day more than a century ago, took a more emotional note. Those of us who have been fortunate enough to spend some time here at Grandsdale feel very gifted by this simple little school. We do feel that we have been in the place we ought to be. We are truly grateful to have been in this place just right. Then it was time to lower the flag one last time. And with the students, young and old, taking their turns, the sound of the old bell rang off the hills again in a final salute to the generations. It was like a family. And everybody knew your own, you know, your name. Uh, you know everybody in the school and everybody worked together it was it was just like going to home <laughs> while the partings were emotional like all memories they will likely dim with time but in Grantsdale one gets the sense these community ties will never be completely erased in Ravalli County Dennis Bragg MTN News